Walks. 3K Walk was good. <laughs> Staying active is what Roy and Kate Loker continue to do after Roy survived COVID-19 last spring. The 54-year-old is feeling more like himself today, but some effects are still lingering. Right now it's the brain fog, uh, vertigo, and uh, like lethargy. Roy says he's taking pills for his heart and is required to use multiple inhalers to deal with the symptoms. The couple are relieved to be holding hands again, but it was last March when they were separated and Roy spent two and a half months in the hospital fighting the virus. It all started after a trip across the border into New York State. Roy developed a cough and breathing difficulties. My doctor, she told me to go up to the, uh, the COVID clinic and tell them that she's concerned that I got COVID. And then they said, no, I didn't qualify, and then I came home and I got really sick. Days later, Kate was very concerned and urged Roy to go to the emergency room. Doctors soon put him in a medically induced coma for 28 days. Every day I think of that, that town, the doctor told me he was very unwell and I said, is he going to make it? And he goes, I can't guarantee that. He's very unwell. Another half hour, he'd have died at home. By April, he woke up seeing Kate behind a glass window, unaware of what happened and without the use of one of his arms. By mid-month, he was cleared of COVID-19 and began rehab. In May, he started walking again and came home to family and friends. Pretty tight coming out of the hospital and being with Kate and giving her a hug. The couple say they are still left with questions on when Roy will be 100% again. I'd like to know if, if he's ever going to get off puffers. I want to know if he's ever going to get off fluid pills from his heart. Like, is it going to be a lifetime thing or, you know, is there damage there that we don't know about yet? Because, you know, our family doctor, we get our prescription. Long haulers are really slipping through the cracks. Susie Golding is the founder of COVID-19 Long Haulers Support Group Canada, a Facebook advocacy group with roughly 12,000 members. She says there's a weak infrastructure for those experiencing long-term effects and needing clinical care and is demanding a widespread government plan to help build a better system. Studies show between 10 and 70 percent of COVID-19 patients will suffer some long-term COVID effects. Taking one doctor looking at one issue of a long hauler when there's over, you know, 230 different symptoms that you could have. Roy and Kate continue to search for answers and are offering advice to others. Look for anything and everything and uh, just keep doing the physical stuff and getting, getting going again.